Before we get into the guide, I just want to let you know that you will need a tiny bit of monkey knowledge. This is what happened to me when I had monkey knowledge off and you literally cannot beat the last map. So you're going to need something, whether it be a free dart monkey, spikes at the end, mana shield, more starting cash, whatever, you don't need much. You just can't do it without any monkey knowledge. So what I did in this guide is I just turned on monkey knowledge for the last map and beat it no problem. Now I do have quite a bit of monkey knowledge but I didn't use any abilities so even if you have a little less than me you shouldn't have a problem. So to start off we have monkey knowledge disabled. We load into the odyssey and our roster is going to be 4 dart monkeys, 4 snipers, 5 subs, 2 ice monkeys, a banana farm, and oban and absolutely no powers. So on the first map we are going to place down oban right in the middle of the map and hit play. Then we are going to place down a dart monkey right below him and get it to a 0 to 4. Next up we are going to place down a dart monkey right off the first straightaway, set its targeting priority to last and get this guy into a 4 0 2. Now that our dart monkey is finished we are going to place down a sub up top and get it into a 2 0 4. Now that we have a 204 sub, we are going to place down three more subs and get them all to 204s, but keep building them one at a time so you'll have the easiest time beating this map. So here's where I placed all the subs, and now we are saving up to upgrade our Dart Monkey into a 502 Ultra Juggernaut. And after this upgrade, we can just coast through the end of the run. So on Monkey Meadow, once again, we are going to start off by placing Oban down in the middle, and then we will place a Dart Monkey just to the right of him and get it into a 0 to 4. After this, we will place down a, another Dart Monkey right on the end of the first straightaway, set its targeting priority to last, and we will get this guy into a 4 0 2. Now, did I pay attention and read all the maps to know that this was a primary only map? No, but we worked it out, and what we are going to do is place down a dart monkey in between the other two and get it to a 0 2 4, and now we are going to save up for a crossbow master. Alright, so in round 47 things were getting a little too close for comfort, so I sold one of the 0 2 4 dart monkeys and upgraded the other one into a 0 2 5 crossbow master. Although this was not quite necessary, we did get the upgrade a little sooner, and if you do have some monkey knowledge, you should get it even earlier than I did. But all I did after this was upgrade our dart monkey into a 5 0 2 ultra juggernaut. So, once again, to start off, we are going to place Oban, and we are going to place him just on top of the first loop. Next, we are going to save up for a submarine and get this guy into a 202. Next up, we are going to need some camo detection, so we are going to place down a sniper right in this corner and get it to a 022. Then we'll go back to our submarine and get it into a 203. Next up, we are going to place down a submarine as close to the entrance as possible, and we are going to get it into a 202. Now, it's important you don't upgrade this guy any farther, as we need the popping power for right now, but down the line, he will become a submerged support submarine. But after this, we are going to place a submarine down by our first one and get it to a 203 as well. Next up, we are going to upgrade our first submarine into a 204, so it'll have the extra damage for the mob coming on round 40. And then we are going to upgrade our second submarine by the entrance and get it into a 402, so that it will be able to reveal all camo balloons as well as pop lead ones. Now that we have our 402 sub by the entrance, we are going to upgrade our third sub into a 204 for some extra damage, and then we are going to upgrade our sniper into a 024. Next up, we'll be placing two more subs down in the bottom right and getting both of them into 204s, and this is all we'll need for the rest of this run.
So on the fourth map, this is where it at least starts to get difficult if you don't have any monkey knowledge. But how I started off was a submarine right here. So it can see three different spots on the track and then I placed down a dart monkey near the beginning. And we are going to get this guy into a 002 right away for camo detection for these alternate balloon rounds. After this, we are going to place down Obin just to the right of our dart monkey and then upgrade the dart into a 0-1-2 so it has just a little extra attack speed. Then we are going to go over to the submarine and get it into a 2-0-0. Now that our sub is a 2-0-0, we are going to upgrade our dart monkey into a 0-2-3, then go back to the submarine and get it into a 2-0-2. So on round 24, our first camo lead appears and we are going to place down a sniper monkey in the bottom right inside that little loop and get it into a 1-1-0 and set its targeting priority to strong. Then we are going to go back to our submarine and get it all the way up into a 2-0-4. Next up, we are going to place a submarine at the entrance, and we are going to get this guy into a 4-0-0 to really help us out with the camo leads and ceramics that will be heading our way. Next up, we are going to place down another submarine in the bottom left of the pool. This way, our subs can see more of the track, and then we are going to get this sub into a 204. Now we're going to place down an ice monkey inside the first loop and upgrade this guy into a 032. This way it'll slow down all the balloons while they are getting melted by our sub at the beginning and they do synergize pretty well. Then we're going to upgrade the sub at the entrance into a 402 so it pulses more quickly. Then we're going to place down another sub in the middle of the map and get this guy into a 204 as well. Now that we have three 204 subs, we are going to save up and upgrade the middle one into a 205 sub commander. So this map I do recommend working in a banana farm somewhere along this run because on round 62 I did sell the bottom left sub so that we could upgrade our middle guy into a sub commander for round 63. Might not have been necessary, but I was a little nervous. Then I placed the sub back and got it back up to a 204. Also, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the pizza BFBs. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sold on them yet, although they might grow on me. Another purchase I made was the googly eyes, and I absolutely hate them. I thought they would be really funny, but they are just too busy for me. I had to turn them off instantly. But the next thing we'll be doing is placing a sub down in the bottom left of the pool and getting this guy into a 204. All I did after upgrading the last sub into a 204 was upgrade our dart monkey into a 024. Then I went over to the sniper and got it all the way up into a 420 and left its targeting on strong. This way it can stun all of the mob class balloons heading our way. But this will take us through the end of the run. So for the final map on this Odyssey hard mode, we are going to start off by placing our free dart monkey up top near the beginning and then a sniper on the log. Now you do start in round one, so if you are unable to get both of these down, you'll only be a few hundred cash behind me, which you can make up for using Obin's tree ability as it does give you a little extra cash, and I didn't use that at all this run. But you're going to want to make sure that the sniper is set to strong targeting priority and then we are saving up for Obin. Now we will place Obin below the dart monkey as far down and to the right as possible in that little corner. Now the reason we're using Obin for all these maps is that he does hit his power spike very early and it is very nice that he can pop lead balloons for us. But now that we have Obin down we are going to upgrade our sniper into a 0-2-2 and once that is done we are going to switch his targeting priority back to first. Now that our sniper is a 022 and its targeting is on first, we are going to save up and upgrade this sniper into a 023. Now, like I said, I did not use any abilities this run, although on round 36 it did get a little close. If you want, you can always just throw down a brambles. But now that our sniper is a 023, we are going to place down another one on the right side of the stump and get this guy into a 102. Now, the positioning of the snipers is kind of important as we are lining up the shrapnel from the first sniper to be able to pop balloons behind it. Uh, the second sniper, not too much, I just put him a little out of the way. 
But now that our sniper is a 102, we are going to place down our banana farm and get it to a 200. And this is where I wish I had put a banana farmer on the powers, although I did not want to show that I had powers for this run. After this, we are going to head over to our sniper and get it up into a 202. And then we're going to upgrade our dart monkey into a 023, just because we need some help with camo balloons that'll be heading our way pretty shortly. After this, we'll be placing down another dart monkey down below Oban. We'll set this guy's targeting priority to last and get him all the way up into a 402. And the nice thing about his positioning is that when he is attacking balloons, the spike belt will bounce off the log and pop even more. Next up, we are going to upgrade our first dart monkey into a 024. And then we'll head over to the first sniper we put down and get it up to a 024. Now, once again, I did not use any abilities, but now that we have Oban's trees unlocked, you can use them to get a little extra cash and make the run quite a bit easier. I recommend continuously placing them down until you get trees placed on the far left of the track because that's pretty far in and I like using the trees as a last resort. But next up, we are going to upgrade our second sniper into a 302 and keep its targeting priority to strong. And this will just do tons of damage to mob class balloons that are heading our way. Next up, we are going to place down an ice monkey right on top of our first dart monkey and get this guy into a 012. And this really just helps out with large clusters of balloons that are coming our way. And then we need just a little bit of extra damage. So we are going to place down another dart monkey in between the first one and open and get this guy into a 024. Then we'll place down our last dart monkey right below the spike bolts, and we'll get this guy into a 402 as well and set his targeting priority to last. Now that all of our dart monkeys are done, we're going to place down another sniper in between the other two and get this guy into a 024 as well. So what I did on round 73 was I sold the banana farm just so that we could upgrade this new sniper even faster. The banana farm has been extremely profitable, especially for half cash, and it gave us the extra bit of money that we needed. If you guys want even more, you can hold on to it a little longer, although it is not necessary as we do have a little chunk left at the end. But after we get this sniper into a 024, we are going to upgrade our second sniper into a 402 so that it will have the mob crippling ability that will keep the ZOMGs and BFBs locked in place, making them much easier to deal with. Remember that you can always throw trees down to make this run even easier. So on round 79, we finally get to upgrade our second sniper up to a 402, and this just makes dealing with BFBs and ZOMGs very easy. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed this Odyssey guide. I really wish I could have done it with no monkey knowledge the whole way through. I think it is really weird that they made it so you actually could not beat the last map without monkey knowledge. But let me know what you guys think about this and if you liked what I did with this guide. As always, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.